What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the most common problems with your audio on your Windows computer. Yeah, so if you have a Mac, I'm sorry this doesn't apply to you. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to check is to see if our audio service is running. And to check that, we're going to want to press the Windows key and R at the same time. And once the run command pops up, we're going to want to type in ms config and then press enter. Once this window pops up you're gonna to want to click the services tab which is the third one over and make sure the one that says hide all Microsoft services uh, checkbox is unchecked uh, because it's gonna be a Microsoft service. So once you do that where it says service you're gonna to want to click it and make sure this arrow right here is pointing down so if it's pointing up click it again and it should start with the W's. The only reason for that is just because it alphabetizes everything so it'll be easier to find. So once that happens uh, just scroll down and find the one that says Windows Audio and make sure that's checked if it's not already checked and uh, also make sure Windows Audio Endpoint Builder is also checked and once you check that just click apply and you can close it out and once you close it out if you actually check that if it was unchecked and you checked it then it's gonna want to restart your computer so if that happens just restart your computer and your problem should be fixed. If not, then just keep watching. All right, so the next step should have actually been the first step, but oh well. Anyways, the next step is to check if we even have an audio device installed on our computer. And to do this, we're gonna want to open up control panel. So to do this in Windows 8, all you gotta do is hover your mouse on the right side of your screen, click this little search tab, and then type in control panel, and click it once it pops up. And so there you go. If you guys are on Windows Vista or Windows 7, to open up control panel just click the start button and control panel should be right there on the right side uh, so once it opens up you're gonna want to click device manager and once this pops up you're gonna want to find the one that says sound video and game controllers and click the little arrow and make sure you have something installed there if you guys don't have an audio device installed on your computer well you just found your problem you just need to install one but to do that that's a completely different video so I'm sorry you're gonna have to research that on your own if you guys do have an audio device, the next thing you're going to want to check is to see if you have a speaker. So click the one that says audio inputs and outputs and then click the little arrow. And make sure you have some kind of speaker. If you do have a speaker, it should specifically say speaker. And if you don't have a speaker, well there you go. Either your computer is not picking up your speakers or you just don't have one. If you do have a speaker but you still don't hear any sound, then let's go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is if we do have speakers installed on our computer but we're still not picking up any sound, and we're going to want to check if they're working correctly or if the wires are connected correctly. So to do this, we're going to want to open up the sound manager. And to do that, right click on the sound option on your lower right side of your screen and click playback devices. But don't worry, if you guys don't have that icon, then all you got to do is open up control panel. I've already taught you how to do this earlier in the video, so just go back in the video if you don't know how. Anyways, uh, once you open up control panel, click the sound option and there you go. So once you have the sound manager open, you're going to want to make sure that your speakers are your default device. And to do that, you're going to want to make sure it has a green check mark next to it. If it doesn't, then you're going to want to click it and click set default and then click apply. And there you go. And after that, you're going to want to test out your speakers. So to do this, all you got to do is right click on your speakers and then click test. And you should be able to hear this sound. Now if you don't hear that sound but you see these green lines moving up and down, then that just means that you have your speakers connected wrong. So all you gotta do is mess with the wires again until you get it right. And there you go, your problem should be fixed. Alright guys, well that was the end of the video. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys liked it. If you guys are still having problems with your audio or your problem wasn't addressed in this video, then please leave it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Or somebody watching this video, please look in the comment section and help me by trying to help them. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!